guys, welcome to another exciting episode of NX Daily Top 5 Tech. At number 5, Microsoft's co-founder is dead and his death is as a result of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. He was aged 65. Allen said earlier this month that he was being treated for the disease. Allen was a childhood friend of Bill Gates and together the two started Microsoft in 1975. He left the company in 1983 while being treated for Hodgkin's lymphoma and remained a board member with the company through 2000. He was first treated for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma in 2009 before seeing his go into remission. At number 4. Qualcomm's new Wi-Fi chips are meant to rival 5G speed. Qualcomm is launching a family of chips that can add incredibly high-speed Wi-Fi at speed up to 10 gigabytes per second. Phones, laptops, routers, and so on. Thought of a new generation of this super fast Wi-Fi standard, but it isn't going to be used to speed up your typical web browsing. And whether it catches on at all remains an open question. Qualcomm's latest chips move WI gig up to a new generation of that wireless standard called A02.11AY, which Becky says can reach speeds twice as fast and can do up to 100 meters away. The Wi-Fi Alliance says the new standard increases the peak data rates of WI gig and improves spectrum efficiency and reduces latency. At number 3, over 75 percent of Pixel users are on Android Pie, reports say. The adoption of new versions of Android may be slow, but there's one area where Google is unsurprisingly doing great, the Google Pixel. Google's hardware chief revealed that it has seen over 75 percent of users already update to Android Pie. The news comes on the heels of Apple announcing that iOS 12, its latest operating system, reached 50% of iOS users last week. If you compare more recent iOS devices from the last four years, which is a bit far out since the Pixel is only a few years old, Apple only has a 53% adoption rate, which is still far below the Pixel's numbers. It speaks that the huge benefits that Google can bring to devices when it fully controls the hardware and software experience like Apple does. At number 2, Winamp app is coming back as an all-in-one music player. Winamp, the legendary customizable music player, is being revamped as a mobile app that would give you one place to listen to all your music, including playlists, podcasts, streaming radio stations, and more. First released in 1997, Winamp was a popular freeware media player famous for its utilitarian music playback and its wealth of incredible community-made skins. It was acquired by AOL in 2002 then sold to Radio Nomi in 2004. The last time Winamp was updated was in 2013, so news that a revival is coming should be welcomed by longtime fans of the app. Essentially, the plan is to update Winamp for both desktop and mobile so that it will be a single searchable experience for all the audio you consume from different sources. At number 1, Apple eventually fixes its new bagel emoji. Apple most egregious crime in recent memory, a sub-bar bagel emoji has been rectified. In the fourth version release of iOS 12.1, it appears that the bagel has been replaced with a new icon that features both cream cheese and a doughy consistency more reminiscent of a fresh hand-rolled bagel and not the frozen machine-cut grocery store variety it was accused of emulating in its original form. And that's it for NX Daily Top 5 Tech. For this and more, you can check our social media platforms at Nigeezy Extreme or check our website at www.nigeezy.tv.